Good morning, y'all. It's time for Darren's daily five-minute bit of driving wisdom. Today, I want to talk about how to make new habits, how to break bad habits, and what steps you can do to make that happen. If you like this content, go to YouTube, search Darren Kime, like, subscribe, share. If you don't like it, have somebody that you don't like watch it. Today, all right, so breaking habits. I'm going to be real with you uh, doing these these five-minute things. I made this commitment to start doing them at the beginning, I believe at the beginning of December is when I first started doing them. And um, I am in that space where I am already kind of facing some inner resistance. There's mornings where I'm like, dude, do you really need to do one today? Can't you just skip a day? And if you'll notice, there's been a couple days where I have skipped. Um, but you're going to get all of the voices that are going to be coming at you when you're trying to break into a new space, you're trying to do something new, that are going to come at you in approximately the one to two week range, and they're going to start really giving you all of the best reasons for why you don't need to really actually make this new commitment to do something, and here's why. Um, and it's because we're, we have our inner built comfort zone that we know where we are and what we like to do, what we like to, uh, how we like to spend our time. And to break out of that, you've got to remember initially what you said that you wanted to do and re remember why you want to do it. Okay, so the reason why I want to do what I'm doing Again, just to recap, it's a five-minute challenge. This, this is how it all started for me. A five-minute challenge to basically um, step into that thing that you've always wanted to do and just give it five minutes because it will help to cure procrastination. Uh, that's what my big thing was. And if you think about it, five minutes is nothing. Give it five minutes, and even if you don't want to go past that, you've at least done you stepped into it, but studies show that if you step into something, it's the act of trying it, getting started, that is the difficult part. Okay, so I want to be a better public speaker, so what better way than to do this? And I feel like I've got a lot of ideas that are always floating around in my mind. They're good conversation, and they're things that I've learned over the years that why, why should I keep them to myself? Why not talk about what I've got, I don't know, as far as the the things that I can bring out and maybe other people can relate to it. We've all got those things. So that's my reason for why I'm doing it. So let's look at a little bit of just like the psychology and the um, even the physiology of it. Okay, let's compare it to if any of you have tried to work out. Okay, we're getting close to the New Year's right now. What happens at the beginning of every new year? At the beginning of every new year, you've got people that are all of a sudden back in the gym. They are making new commitments and saying, here's where I want to be. I want to be back in the gym because this time it's going to be different. And uh, I've been one of those people, but I've actually, that's something that I have broke through on and I've made it past the one to two week thing. But what I often see is you'll see a whole influx of people go to the gym at the beginning of the year. And usually by February, it's thinned back out to the amount of people that you are used to seeing there that go there all the time. So, and that's because these comfort zones that we set up in our minds, they are real things psychologically and I think even physiologically. You're breaking into a new space of existence for you when you are establishing a new routine, a new habit, and you're making it part of your daily life, there's going to be resistance for the first little while. There's somebody named Dr. Caroline Leaf. She talks about doing something for three months. If you can do something for three months and keep that part of your regular occurrence, you will basically have made it part of your new life at that point. So if there's any of you that want to grow, I'm going to go ahead and just encourage you. 
the five minute challenge, make it a daily thing. Five minute challenge to push into whatever th area you feel like you need to grow in and understand that when you're facing that uncomfortable space inside of you while you're doing it, that is there because it's the natural barrier that you have inside of you getting tested. It's getting pushed. No different from working out physically. When you work out physically, you try it the first day and then day two, you're sore from it. And the, the tendency for your body is to say, I'm sore, why keep doing this? But you understand we have the ability as, as humans to, to be foresighted. We can look forward into the future and understand how it can benefit us to continue forward with something. We're not doing it for the person that's here, right here and now, in the sense that like, we understand that we're gonna become somebody else that we, that we desire to be here and now, but we know that we're not there yet. So we're putting ourselves into a com an uncomfortable space for the moment to get to the space where we want to be, where we understand that the things that we desire to have, they're gonna become natural to us, but you've gotta push into that space. So don't allow the uncomfortable space to be something that stops you from doing it. You could actually use it to reframe it and say, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable with this. That means that I'm pushing my boundaries and I'm stepping into a space that's helping me to grow. Growth isn't easy. Growth takes work. Growth is not natural. It becomes natural. And so that's what I'm facing right now with this five minute challenge doing these, these vlogs but I know that I'm going to be glad that I kept stepping into it. So that's my five minute bit for today. Step into your five minute challenge. Don't be afraid of the uncomfortable space that it puts you in around week one, two, three, uh, because that just means that you're growing and growth is, is good. It's gonna get you where you wanna go. If you enjoy this content, again, go to YouTube, subscribe to my channel, Darren Keim and uh, continue to check back in, hold me accountable, make sure I keep doing these things every day, um, Monday through Friday, that is. So I will see you guys again on Monday.